Hey, ever wonder how the biggest brands on Instagram grow their page? Well, you're in luck. I'm gonna show you how an average Joe like me took my friend Haley's Instagram account to over 2,000 extra followers, double the likes, and over 500,000 impressions, all under just in one week. And no, this is not another BS Instagram growth video. You came to watch this video because you wanna know step-by-step step how to grow a page, and I'm gonna take you along the journey. I literally documented everything from taking photos to strategy to showing Haley how to grow her account. So. If if you guys want to know more, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Jade and I'm a 19 year old entrepreneur. And on this channel, we make videos about psychology and marketing to give you the latest tips and tricks about how to go your brand authentically, okay? There's a lot of BS out there. I'm not here to add to the noise. So because of that, let's just dive right in on how we grew Haley's Instagram. Haley has over 2 million subscribers and she has this brand called Retro Reprise, which is her clothing line. And she told me to grow her page. There's only three steps to growing Haley's account. We had a discovery meeting, strategy meeting, and then we executed. So I'm going to take you guys along the steps of how we came up with these concepts. First, let's talk about the discovery meeting. I sat down with Haley and asked her how much she wanted to grow and why she wanted to. This is what we found. What is something that right now that you want people to know? Or maybe something that you've learned recently. Finding peace in uncertainty. Uh, so how did you find peace in uncertainty? Like we can try and make up our own plans and our own dreams, but at the end of the day, it's not really in our control. But still finding, you know, the happy moments, even in small things. I got it, I got it. What is that? What are some of the small things that you do every day that make you happy? Let me paint the picture. Mm. I feel like this coronavirus, specifically for me, just to kind of elaborate on it, it realized that, man, I appreciate the little things a lot more. Like yesterday, yeah. I ate my, fr I was baking with my mom, and that literally made me so happy. Whereas before, I would yeah. have to Bali to be happy. Oh my God, Haley, you're gonna love this. I think the key for retro reprises, you want content that makes people feel good. If they recognize okay. emotion with the brand, then they'll tie that to the product. That's the connect. That's the that's really the goal. But I think what we're gonna do is the feed is basically a series of the little things. It can be like we can implement scenes and videos, uh, maybe half images, half videos of like ways people can wear retro reprise during their little things to make them happy. I think that's the message. Yeah. If it's okay with you, we're gonna kind of go away from this kind of feed and make it more clean, just more clean spaces. And then I think we're gonna go for kind of like a, a glossy Billy look. It's still colorful, but mostly white. And then I think we can mix up yeah. half of the content images and then half of them being quotes and reminders that kind of just go yeah. to the core, which is finding peace and uncertainty. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So Retro Reprise definitely had a great start. We didn't start from zero, but Haley was struggling a lot with getting a feed that was actually engaging because it didn't convert as much to sales as she wanted to. So I stepped in to see how I can help and bring her a solution. The following week, me and Haley sat down again so I could deploy my solution. Retro reprise, we have the May Instagram strategy. Ooh. The goal that you mentioned was that you just really wanted to sell out of your current collection. Yeah. That's the overall goal by the end of this month. The idea is in order to hit this goal, there's going to be three components. We're going to post daily on feeds and stories in May. We're also going to increase your profile visits by 50%. And then also we're going to engage with the community and bring together the retro reprise fam. And with all these things, three things combined, it should achieve the objective. Hypothetically, that's the that's the overarching goal. So here's a recap. The problem with Haley's page isn't her content. It isn't her engagement groups. It's none of that. I believe it's because Instagram was created to connect people, not collect people, right? If you go in the mindset of just growing an Instagram page, weirdly enough, it's not going to work. You have to think about how do I want people to share? Why should people share? So because of that, my solution was coming up with a one week campaign to get people to feel something and spread the word. And through that, we created a seven day self care challenge. The self your challenge basically for me was just a way for people to have fun and share the posts. If you're not spending a shit ton of money on Instagram ads, the best way you can grow is through the actual community you built. So I knew that Haley was in luck because she already had such a loyal audience, but she wanted to grow further. So this is the strategy. Since Retro Reprise gave us a cozy vibe, we knew that we had to make people feel cozy too. So the self-care challenge was to help people empower themselves to take care of themselves and to be comfortable in their own skin. So every day of the challenge, people would tag 
tag us, Retro Reprise, on their Instagram story, which basically grew the page because they were sharing our page for us in exchange for Retro Reprise to give away a product. Now, if you don't have product or if you're like, hey Jade, I actually am not a brand. I don't have anything to give. Don't you worry. I used to do a thing on my personal Instagram page, Jade Demerwangza, where I would give away Starbucks gift cards. Although if you guys don't have $5, you can be creative and come up with items that you have, whether it's things that you made or experiences that you can give or lessons. I used to give away free coaching calls about Instagram growth, right? So that didn't cost me anything. So the best way to grow an Instagram page strategically without spending ads is really to incentivize people to share using this type of challenge method. Now, if you're like Jade, I don't know how to implement this for myself. Don't you worry. In the next part, I'll show you guys how we implement it and how you guys can take step by step actions to do the same. So check this out. So now we're on number three, executing. So what we did is we came up with a seven day plan. It looks like this. This is the Instagram graphic that we made using canva.com. It's free. It's pretty easy. And it took under 15 minutes. The strategy was simple. We needed to create content to have on our feed to really reflect those posts. Now, here's the thing, guys. It is really important to me. It's super important to me to get a good vibe, okay? It sounds so pretentious, but like a vibe is really important, especially for Instagram, which is such a visual platform. If you don't got a good feed, it's not the end of the world, but it is really a huge important thing. So when you arrive at step three, which is execution, here are some best tips from building a good feed once you have the challenge in place. My tip number one for building a good feed is using Pinterest to generate images and content that can get you inspired. You don't need to take all your photos. I'm pretty sure half the photos we took or posted weren't ours. It was on Pinterest. So my best example is type in any word that represents who you are and then aesthetic next to that word on Pinterest. You're going to see a bunch of images, a bunch of inspiration that will help you get excited about what to post. Trust me, this is how I built my personal Instagram page. I typed in surfer aesthetic because I've been really into surfing and uh, I kind of uh, feel like my feed's pretty on point. So that part is so important just because people share things that visually attract them and Instagram literally is as shallow as it is. It's all about visuals. So making sure you plan it out is super important. Now my next step is to take photos. Photos. Now, you don't have to make it all original, but I'm going to insert some footage of Kieran, which is Haley's assistant, <laughs> who took some photos for us to make sure we got the vibe. Hey guys, okay, so I'm trying to like set this up in like a nicer, like prettier way. And I'm going to put this like candle right here and then light the candle for that like nice ASMR-ish candle lighting. All right, y'all, we nailed the first shot. Second shot, we're just using a book and putting it like against a like a sky background in a way. All right, thanks, Kiran. So now we have the vibe. We have the feed. The last most important tip I have is to schedule your posts, which brings me to the today's sponsor, thinkyleader.com for sponsoring today's video. If you're a busy bee like Haley and me, you don't want to just sit there and like post by hand. I actually use leader.com way before they sponsored this video. I'm telling you, like, this is how I grew my Instagram page at 50,000 followers. Like I use later all the time. So I'm very floored that they asked me to work with them. So later is a way to visually plan your feed so you can focus on what's more important. Later automates your posts and literally schedules it when you want to. So you can just sit back and relax. Later includes features like media management, automating posts, giving you extra marketing and analytics. It's literally a dream. We actually use later.com to schedule retro reprise posts. All I did was took the posts that we created for the feed, schedule it over the cross of the seven day challenge, and literally just typed in the captions and it ran on autopilot. I really recommend this because as a busy entrepreneur, that sounds very pretentious, but true. I mean, I really don't have time to just like sit there and like post. So later makes your life easier. Later was kind enough to give you guys a one month month free access to their account, which is insane. Like I said, I've used this platform way before I even had any clout. So thank you later for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want one month free of using later.com, check my link below. You can use code J2020 for free month. All right. So now that you saw me and Haley brainstorm, strategize and execute, you're probably wondering how did the seven day challenge go? Well, as you can tell from the intro, I kind of spoiled it. We kind of did pretty good to be honest, but here's my halfway check-in. I basically and analyze what happened halfway through the challenge and what we could do better. You guys need to watch this footage because I really walk through the growth and my thought process of what went well and what went wrong. Here's my halfway check-in. All right, so we launched this campaign three days ago and we've been posting every single day since then. And guys, we have achieved over 947 new followers in three days, a 100% increase in likes, and we went from 2,000 daily accounts reached to 20,000 accounts reached. What? It is really incredible to see when you are able to associate 
associate your product with a feeling which we chose self-care and being cozy, people have a excitement to the brand that we've never seen before. Her target demographic, which is younger girls, are like sharing it. People are going on walks and they're, they're kind of going with the movement of the brand. And what's so interesting is I'm not really posting. All I'm doing is interacting with people. So it's actually running on autopilot, which is amazing when you set up a content calendar system. All right, so now that you know what's going on, let me give you some quick tips. I've learned that in the beginning of day one, it wasn't so great because people weren't as excited. And it's really normal when you launch a campaign because if you have no followers, especially, it's really hard to get the ground running. So what I did is I DM'd our past followers and past likes to see if they would engage. Sometimes when, you know, people aren't engaging and we didn't get people to share and join in on sharing the account, you have to ask. So this is how I did it. I went on Instagram and looked at the past people that liked the photos and started to DM them if they would join the challenge. Sometimes sending a simple DM saying, hey, we're doing a self-care challenge and giving them an incentive to is super important. So I decided that if people aren't gonna do it for free, why not give away some products of the store? So in the campaign, every time you tag retro reprise on your story, it's one entry. So every day we pick a winner to win the product. And this literally worked like magic. If you have a store that's beginning, it's so important to just get down and dirty and don't be afraid of it. It definitely took some time. The first thing we launched on Friday was slow. Not too many people joined. We didn't get too many follows. But Saturday, when people started to see the social proof and everyone posting, that's when we got a thousand followers collectively due to the overtime compounding effect. So that is my halfway check-in. I'm curious to know if this growth is going to maintain or just plummet from here. I'm going to do my best and give you guys a check-in when the end of the seven day challenge and I'll see you guys very soon. All right, so here's the grand reveal. Before this was Haley's feed, it was too cluttery. No one really engaged because it was not conveying a message clearly. And this is Haley's feed after. Way more bright reflects retro pre the brand and it got double the likes. We went from 2,500 likes to around 5,000 to 10,000 likes. This is all in a matter of one week. The reason why, like I said, is because people were sharing it. They were entering the challenge. They were really into the message because we focused on people, not followers. So furthermore, the amount of followers we got went from 21,000 to almost 23,000. So to do that in one week is really amazing because you can get 2,000 followers anywhere, but these were quality people that actually cared. And I feel like that's the goal with any brand. It's not necessarily to sell more or just to be cool on the internet. It's really to help people and impact. And that's why Instagram was designed. Oh, and yeah, we kind of also went from like 30,000 impressions to around 500,000. So I think this was a success. So check this out. If you guys want 500,000 impressions, these are the questions you need to ask yourself before you even get started. Why should people share my posts? What's the message I really want to share to people? When you understand what do you want to say, you suddenly realize that it's more than just likes and followers. It's about helping people. So ask yourself, what type of problem do I want to solve? Why should people share? Kind of comes down to what is the thing that you're trying to value. Now, it doesn't have to be a big problem to solve. You know, at Ratchet Reprise, I just chose self-care because everybody can relate to it during this time. Time. So you definitely don't have to be too in depth with it. Just pick something that resonates with you and the current times of your brand. Like I mentioned, if you guys use any of the tips I said, please let me know and comment on YouTube if you like this video. Again, later.com has helped me in my business in the past and has helped Haley and me work together on this. So thank you so much for sponsoring. And again, like I mentioned, I do not make videos to sell you guys anything, to make anything I don't believe in. So all the things I'm saying are things I use and believe in. So I hope you guys find amazing results from this too. I love reading your DMs when you guys message me of how much you grew. So I'm telling you, this is the real deal. No BS. And I hope you guys like this interactive documented version of an Instagram growth video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, comment below. Love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.